So you checked out my top employers for Southern Oklahoma featured right here. And you've been hired by one of them and now you're like, man, I'm so excited to move there, but I don't really want to live in Ardmore. What are my options? You've got several. Maybe you've got horses, cows, pigs. I don't know. But let me help you find the community that's right for you. I've got five of them coming up. Hey everybody, Stacey Hesser here, your favorite realtor in all of Southern Oklahoma. And I've got five communities coming up for you all within a 30 minute commute of Ardmore. And most of them have limited restrictions on what you can do uh, in those particular areas. Maybe you're looking for some more acreage, maybe you're looking to have some chickens, maybe you're looking to do something like that. So if you are, then just know that you'll typically wanna look outside of the Ardmore area. Or maybe you're just looking to live someplace that has a small population. Maybe you're looking for that small town feel. Ardmore does have a population of just under 30,000 people, so it could be a little bit much for some. So let's check things out. The first town we're gonna look at is going to be Lone Grove. It's your closest alternative, seven miles east, nope, seven miles west of Ardmore. Yeah, I have left-right issues, which apparently applies to east-west, but hang on. Let's look it up on a map and then I can show you where it's at. Lone Grove does have a population of 5,121 people. And according to niche or niche or I don't know, the schools there are currently rated with a B rating. So I encourage you to look this up yourself. I'll put a link to the websites below so you guys can check all of this out. It is just a quickie little... 15 minute commute to Ardmore. It is on a major US highway and it's US Highway 70. It's a four lane highway, so a very easy commute getting you into Ardmore. Okay, so that was Long Grove. Next up, we've got Dixon and it's about eight miles northeast of Ardmore. It's a much smaller town coming in with a population of 1,248 people and their schools there are rated with a C plus. So something really unique about Dixon is that it's not officially a town with a zip code. They don't have a post office there, but they do have their own school district and they also have their own police system there too. Dixon is also on a state highway. It's State Highway 199. So again, a pretty easy commute getting yourself into Ardmore and coming in at, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Coming in at 23 minutes. <laughs> The next community to talk about is going to be Marietta. Marietta is just south of Ardmore, so let's pull it up. Marietta is a great little town. It's home to one of my favorite Mexican food restaurants, La Roca. So if you're into the old Mexican food, Marietta is 19 miles away with a population of 2,768 people and has a school rating there of a B minus with niche, niche. Getting even further out, we've got Davis. It's 27 miles north, but located in the Arbuckles. Davis is home to Turner Falls, a great little city-owned park and an amazing swimming hole. The water there is crystal clear. Plus, I wanna say it's home to the highest, maybe tallest, I don't know. Check it out. It's so hard to say because they call these the Arbuckle Mountains, but they're only 700 feet high. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyways, it could potentially be home to the tallest waterfall in all of Oklahoma. Davis is 27 miles north of Ardmore, has a population of just under 2,900 people, and their schools have a solid B rating. So we're getting right at that 30 minute commute time. Last up, we've got Sulphur. So Sulphur's claim to fame is that they're home to a number of things. The Chickasaw Recreation Center, they're home to Lake of the Arbuckles, beautiful area to be able to relax and enjoy your yourself. There's also the Artesian Hotel and Resort there, as well as the Oklahoma School for the Deaf. So the population of Sulphur is just shy of 5,000 people and their schools are a very solid B. So again, a great alternative. Where is it, you might ask? You're getting a little further out there, but let's check it out. Sulphur would be a great commute from Dixon to sulfur. So if you're looking to be employed in Dixon is our little um, solid waste facilities. And again, also you've got the air park area here too. As you can see, here's the Lake of the Arbuckles. 
And this is such a pleasant drive. US Highway 177. You pop out right here, which is Chickasaw National Recreation Area, and it is a national state park. Plus, you have a buffalo viewing area. I mean, if you're wanting to commute to Ardmore, you do see that you've got a 41 minute commute. But like I said, if you're looking to uh, be close to that air park, that's right here. Again, a quick little jaunt off of that Highway 177, or if you're doing any kind of employment on Highway 199, this would be a great alternative for you. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you love this video and want to see this happy little face every single week, then be sure to hit that subscribe button. You'll be notified every single week when I drop my videos. And as always, I love to hear from you guys. So please be sure to just comment away. I always love to hear. Was there a community I missed? What's another place that you might be interested in? I'll be sure to feature it in an upcoming video. So that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.